<laughs> All right. Uh, we are back with Dread Canaries against the Impossible Storm. I'm Dread Canary. The game is against the Storm. We're going to be playing on Impossible. Now, we are still on the quality of life update that they recently released. Uh, one which increased the length of games by making it 14 reputation points to win on uh, all the way up to impossible and then a whopping 18 if you want to win on prestige now i'm going to go ahead and push out we want to see what these forest mysteries are so we're just going to go straight out this way i'll call ourselves something like a uh, dorkra i'm feeling that uh and i want a mix of lizards and humans plus two bonus people and we've got six embarkation points to work with so for those six points, uh, since we tend to have food issues on the Scarlet Orchard, I'm thinking that what I want to do is not worry about food all that much. Maybe we'll take, yeah, let's just take some free ale. See how that does for us. All right, so our mysteries for this round are royal funding. So every time we sell 10 amber worth of goods, we get an additional two amber for free. That's a great way to get more money. Uh, we have housing, where people move slowly during the storm. At hostility two, gaining reputation during the storm does not lower impatience. I mean, that's pretty easy to deal with. You just don't gain reputation during the storm and you're fine. Uh, overheating, okay, that's gonna be a little annoying. We have to have spark do multiplied by the number of years. This is like vassal tax, uh, but instead of impatience growing faster, it reduces global production speed. So we're going to have to be producing spark dew. And then swarms. We need housing or people get upset. So the great thing is this and this both have to do with housing. This is largely ignorable. So what we're really doing is just paying a tax in spark dew, and that's pretty easy to deal with. Now the recent update did change the ground in the Scarlet Orchard, and I really like this. It's a lot better than that old, harsh orange that they used to have. All right, so as always, we're going to go ahead and square off the area we're gonna cut. We don't wanna force our way into any spicy glades just yet. And no reason to raise the hostility of the forest by getting the vanilla glades either. And of course, I very much like squares. So that looks good. We will drop our two woodcutters camp to get us started. I think one here and one here. We can go ahead and start time. Uh, we will need a stone cutter's camp for the stone. That makes sense. We're gonna get a scavenger's camp for the eggs. And just to make sure I don't forget to build it, we will get a harvester's camp that we will stick out of the way. We are going to turn off coal, sea marrow, and oil consumption, and run a path around. Now, uh, I haven't played on the experimental server yet for the most recent change that they're proposing. But apparently, Aramite decided that they didn't like people doing happy burns in order to gain reputation quickly. Uh, so they're changing how fuel works. So uh, if they keep doing their, their typical uh, practice of having a update to the experimental server happen a week before it goes live on the regular game, then in about a week's time, we can expect to see some major changes to fuel. But for now, we are still on the previous one. And of course, we'll upgrade to three. We will get our first cornerstone. Bonus herbs. Productions of packs of goods. Cosmetics. You know what? I don't give harpies enough love. Let's go ahead and go with cosmetics. So harpies will just be happy if we make any cosmetics. And let's see what our orders are. Open four glades, pretty straightforward. Five, get f lizards to 14 for 30 seconds. Gives us some food, I like that. Making packages early, giving us 50% more. Mm, no, I don't love this. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the clan. 
Hmm, this might be rough, but I, I want to go for it. Getting lizards to 14, because this basically lets us get double effects plus five meat a minute on a map that we usually have meat issues. I mean, the next best option is the three packs with a sweet plus one cloth, but I'm going to go ahead and go with joyful lizards. So we're going to try to get our lizards very happy very fast. And you know, I think free blueprints are always good, and I like them better than uh, one-time infusions of resources. So we're going to go ahead and go TikTok, and our first goal has to be, has to be, to get our lizard happiness up. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. One, we can favor them. That'll get us five, so that gets us to eight. And then we can do double burns to get three and three. But the other way to get three is to make housing. So we're gonna go ahead and make some housing just as fast as possible. We'll slide this out to the side and then we will put housing right here. And then of course, we can make a comforting tower. It doesn't have to be a tower. It can be any four uh, decorations uh, from this first category with the little green border. Uh, but I like the, the wall corner best because it lets me make those nice towers. And that's going to give us a global plus two resolve, getting us a little bit closer to this bonus. A uh, chat says, I finally broke down about the game. Well, welcome to the Against the Storm game. Uh, yeah, welcome. It's a it's a fun city builder. I really, really like the idea behind it. And as you can see, I've gotten a lot of hours on it. I was doing the math the other day, I think about 300 hours of playtime uh, that I can confirm that I've played, which is a lot. Okay, so we've got eight happiness, and that's before favoring them, which gets us to 13. And that just gets us one set short. So a single happy burn will get us the rest of the way. And then we only have to hold it for half a minute, and it gets us two orders. Pretty solid. Huh. Uh, so, chat is saying, I, I joined just in time to see the fuel Zodiac change, because uh, the, the devs referred to the happy burn with all three fuels as an Exodia combination, which I assume is a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! I've never played it. Uh, now, the game is helpfully reminding me that I have... A order that I can turn in uh, but I've got 45 seconds to turn it in and I'm gonna wait until the Queen's impatience hits there it goes let's swap this over to a human and let's go ahead and turn our first order is it this one this is the one that's timed there we go uh, yes so uh, as I was saying earlier the fuel change is changing on the experimental server they haven't put it into the live game yet, so you've got about a week left to take advantage of Happy Burns before it changes. <laughs> so it hasn't changed yet, uh, but it, it is clearly about to. Uh, we can go ahead and put two humans in here. And I think that's all the gathering that we can be doing right now. I haven't selected my set of buildings, so I probably should. Okay, well we've got two uh, creatures that like training gear. Both harpies and lizards have bloodthirst, so training gear is a good way to deal with that. Uh, pigment goes towards scrolls, which harpies like, and of course packs of provisions are really good with the current trade system. So let's go ahead and grab the Manufactory for our first building. I'm going to go with the Leather Worker second. For one thing, it counts as a cloth building, so Harpies will get a happiness boost for working it. Secondly, we need efficient fabric for making... I think both Lizard and Harpy housing needs fabric, but primarily Harpy housing. Well, now we get the Weaver, which would have been more efficient. But since we already had the manufactory for our first building, uh, getting training gear here is kind of a waste. So we don't need the weaver. 
the tool shop, this little icon, is helpfully telling us that we have an order that can get us a tool shop, so there's no reason to take it. Uh, and we do have a cornerstone that has to do with making cosmetics. So even though wine is completely useless for us, I think the making of cosmetics is worthwhile. Okay, then we already have a good fabric building. And I don't really like working with packs of crops or, and pickle goods by themselves, aren't that great. So we're, we're going to ignore the greenery. The cookhouse is good because both, uh, both lizards and harpies like skewers. And I think humans and harpies like biscuits. But I'm actually going to go with the furnace so that I can get more efficient bricks. Uh, because that is going to be necessary for both human and lizard housing. Okay. So now it's time to start laying out how I want to do this. I think the leather worker is going to go here. And I think the furnace will go there. I think I can do the same layout with the manufactory and the alchemist hut. And then that means we need to put a blight post. Like so. And we will need spark dew because otherwise our machinery overheats. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, right. I mean, I, I need to put a market down. Uh, I think the change is positive overall. Okay, so someone in chat says, seems like the devs are making life harder. And then someone else responds, I think the change is positive overall. I don't really happy burn because that isn't how I like to win. I feel like the early game on higher difficulties is going to be Russian Roulette if you open Deadly Glades on your one. Um, it, Deadly Glades aren't that bad. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming you're talking about Dangerous Glades and not Forbidden Glades. But both of those are doable in year one, depending on what buildings you have. Um, there are deeds related to opening a, I think it's a Forbidden Glade on year one on Impossible. So uh, you can you can do it. They just have harsher consequences if you don't attend to them. Uh, let's go ahead and write. Harpies went negative because I've been favoring lizards. If I just don't favor anybody, then everyone is equally happy. Then humans just massive happiness boosts out the gate. Now let's see. Uh, we need brick, brick, cloth. Okay, let's go ahead and limit us to 10. Let's make it out of stone. And let's limit this to 10. Let's make it out of... That is fine. And we're going to leave planks as is, and we'll start getting people building. Okay, now I've got a lot of lizards already, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this mix. Now, you know what? It's one lizard either way, and humans are naturally happy, so I'm going to go with this mix. Plus, it comes with bricks, and that's always nice. Ooh, okay. So, plus one wood production is a great way to get fuel and a lot of wood, which can be turned into planks. And we're making planks really inefficiently. So this would be good for now to get us started. I don't like using cornerstone rerolls, so I'm not too worried about this one. And I don't love having extra houses. I, I like knowing exactly how big my houses are and having, you know, four per species is a really good number. I don't I don't need to go with this. So I'm gonna go with over diligent woodworkers because rooty ground is good, but free barrels, that's that's a whole worker I don't need to assign. Like oftentimes over the course of a game that's enough barrels for the entire run. Especially that might have been dumb. Because we're getting free ale. And the only thing we really need barrels for is pickled goods for the lizards. Uh, Queen is still very patient with us, so we don't have to worry about that. We just keep rolling right along here. I do want to go ahead and make this two lizards. You know what? Let's make this two humans. Because 
Harpies like working in the leather worker. Oh, meat. Which means lizards are more efficient. They got a chance for double production. Interesting. And lizards like working in the furnace. Next set of orders. Now only humans get clothes. So this would mean make clothes for humans. I need to have 10 humans and then we need to keep them closed for two minutes. That's not terrible. Getting plus one production is always really nice. Um, otherwise we just need to have eight humans that are very happy for a minute and that gives us a free brick oven. I love free building blueprints. Okay, so if we get a brewery and 40 ale, then we get a free tavern. But we need to get a brewery. Otherwise, if we pack up 10 packs of crops, we get three humans and then a plus three to human resolve. I'm gonna go with heavy brewing here. I don't know how necessary it is, but the ability to get a free blueprint, huge. And we're going to get the ale automatically because we, we pick the ale delivery line as our perk. So it's just a question of getting the brewery brew blueprint. Because see, we've already got most of the ale that we need. doing this a little faster, but you know what? I just really like my squares. Let's see, if we expand this way, then we can get dangerous, dangerous, and then we're at the coast. Oh, there's a... How would we get to you? Well, there's no real good routes. If we went this side... There's a nice pack of dangerous glades all clumped together. If we went out this way, we can get to that forbidden glade. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just sneak up in here and in here and we'll call it good. Oh, we're over one impatience. Let's go ahead and turn in this. And our buildings got built while I wasn't paying attention, so let's go ahead and do that, which means you don't make fabric. Because you make fabric out of leather. We'll turn these off. And you are gonna make our bricks. I don't really wanna be making copper bars. I mean, I guess I can. Let's go ahead and just have a nice reserve of some copper bars. And we don't have clay, but we do have stone. So we'll go ahead and drop them in there. So the only thing these guys should be making are planks. I'm gonna set ourselves to a limit of 20 planks. And we will drop stone roads to make that more efficient. Okay, so we don't really need a brickyard. I'm thinking I'm gonna, because, okay, the reason we don't need a brickyard is we've already got a building that's equally efficient at making bricks. And we already have a building that lets us make crystallized dew. And pottery uh, is the same function as barrels, which we're getting for free, which means we're only going to use it for pickled goods and maybe making some supplementary ale if we get a lot of humans. So I don't need the brickyard. The herbalist camp or the herb garden, both are very good. The herbalist camp lets us pick food if we find it. The herb garden lets us grow food if we find any kind of fertile ground. So does the small farm though. But I think I'd rather have herbs because herbs can be packaged into uh, packs of provisions which are needed for trading. Uh, grain can be turned into ale or into flour. Which would be nice, but like roots can also be turned into flour. And I'd rather have the provisions because if I have provisions, I can turn other resources into money, and then with money I can buy food from a trader that might visit us sometime. Now let's go ahead and get some housing down. We'll just make this whole area a lizard-themed paradise. 
Stonecutters can't pick nothing nearby. Well, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, we don't, I don't want to lower my production speed by 15% for the whole game. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take people out of what they were doing to, <laughs> let's actually rush job this so we can get some spark to build. With money, you can pay the vassal tax. Um, I don't have vassal tax. So I've got overheating. So it's the same concept, except it's uh, production speed instead of impatience. You're out of stuff you can make into cloth. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and have you start just spamming spark dew for us to make sure we have a never-ending supply of that in our next year. Two amber for every 20 sea marrow produced. That is dependent on us finding sea marrow. A free pack of provisions for every 16 herbs. Never bad. Well-rested workers, just the right amount. Villagers with the leisure need fulfilled have a 10% chance for double yields. Now, if we get the brewery, uh, if we get the brewery, then well-rested workers could be huge. Because remember, the brewery will let us get the tavern, and then we can serve ale to the humans so we can fulfill that. And finally, get extra harpies if we make eggs. I'm going to go with well-rested workers here. And we need more humans, but I've only got two options that give me one each. Uh, so I guess we'll go with one, two, and two. Seems the most balanced. We should probably repopulate this camp. And open up our first dangerous glade. Alright, first thing we have to deal with is the Ancient Shrine, uh, which needs cloth, tools, or provisions. Now, I think provisions are the way to go here, because we can efficiently make those, and harpies like it. Let's go ahead and set two. We're going to set our cap to 20 to start. And then just to make sure it gets done as soon as possible, I'm going to drop two lizards here. And we're going to say that we want the supplies. Now it takes them like a minute 20 to work. We've got almost six minutes and we need eight provisions, eight packs of provisions. Now the great thing is we can make six in 30 seconds. So we should have plenty of time there. Now where did that stone go? Because there's a lot of sea marrow back here. And not only is there a lot of sea marrow back here, we also found fertile fields, which is great because we've got that herb garden. That's just phenomenal. Uh, this is way more firefighters than I need. I'm being really inefficient on my firefighters, but I like it because that way they're overstaffed. I don't really have to worry about them later. They're just already there, and that just works, and it's just brilliant. Uh, next up, let's make some harpy houses, I think. I don't need more harpy houses. 
I do need lizard and human houses, so let's go ahead and make a nice human zone. Give them a nice path to their houses, and we will give them some front lawns on this side, plus a couple of flower beds, just because they look nice. I'll need them anyway. Speaking of things I will need anyway... Drop some decorations there. And we can queue up an herb garden for in this location. Fill in farm fields. How are we doing? Yep, plenty of time, like I said. Open three caches, gives us four people plus five carrying capacity. Ooh, okay. Nope, we're going lizard resolve. Because plus two meat production when we make meat. This does mean we have to get something that lets us make meat, but it means that meat would be highly efficient. Um, I love trailblazing. First off, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. If there's any way I can do building rush, I want to do building rush because this quest requires us to have a brewery, right? This quest gives us a brewery and increased ale production and eight parts, but we don't care about those. So if there's a way for me to get 15, make sure I didn't fail that. I did not, okay. If there's a way for me to get 15 building materials in five minutes, that'd be big. Do I have any buildings just the makeshift post? Okay. If I put a makeshift post here, do I have anything that I've got a lot of building materials in? No. But we're about to. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do... Per first off, let's put a couple people there. Secondly, let's take these two out. Let's go ahead and build two makeshift posts. What is this? That's a makeshift post. Let's build a second makeshift post. And we're gonna prioritize the heck out of these. Okay, that's being collected. That's great. That's great. Now we need, what was it, 15? Start there. We don't have any wood, so let's turn off burning wood. We're gonna burn coal, no, we're gonna burn sea marrow for the duration. Woodcutter's camp has no wood nearby. Well, we can't have that, so let's go ahead and slide this this way. Let's just clear out a whole lot more down here. All right, and what this should do is once we get these built, I'm just keeping an eye on our building materials because I want them getting as much as possible. And these guys are collecting planks right now. That's pretty great. Now you don't have anything to do, so let's switch you over to cloth. Now the reason I'm doing cloth and bricks is because it's only six as opposed to ten. Did I forget to, oh, dang it. 
I forgot to actually take the, the mission. All is lost. Okay. Get out, get out, get out. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. That was silly of me. Okay. So, we need to solve another dangerous glade event. That's pretty easy. We're just going to dig through on this side. Uh, we need another human. Okay. We don't get the free brewery, so I'm going to have to find it. That's all right. 7 out of 22 lizard resolve. I think we can deal with that next year. I think burning sea marrow is still the right call. And we have plenty of spark dew for a while, so that shouldn't be an issue. Our people are pretty unhappy, so maybe I should think about getting rid of some woodcutters to lower the hostility of the forest. I think that's as far as we can go. So let's go ahead and add... No, not coal. Let's add a sea marrow. There we go. Woodcutters camp is out of wood. Well, we can't have that. can definitely get humans. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of them. Gain, no, I don't really want to let impatience get very high. Gain a constant minus five, but a plus 15 for every five minutes every time a new glade is discovered. Let's go ahead and take the exploring expedition. I'm about to open up a bunch of glades anyway, so I might as well. You know, I never did build that market, so I probably should do that now. We've got a second dangerous glade, and this is just some bodies to clean up, so we can do that. Let's actually send the people whose bodies they are to go clean up their dead. You don't want to just leave your dead lying around. That's unsanitary. You can quote me on that. see here three free incense for every 10 roots produced and we have an herb garden uh, alternately plantation and we do have a second set of fertile ground we are finding a lot of fertile ground on this map that we don't normally get so I'm thinking I actually want that plantation and I'm willing to go ahead and sell off my ancient tablets to get it you know ideally Uh, that's okay. So we need 35. If I want this plus this, I need 35. Uh, so I need one, two, three. Great. No problem there. Uh, I think I'm going to sell off these building materials that I don't think I'll need now. And I think I can sell off quite a few eggs. I'm not too fussed about selling food now that I've got access to uh, farmland because farmland means I can get more food. So bam. Bam, that's gonna help. I could buy food directly, but I'm, I'm not gonna. So there we go. Let's go ahead and turn in our human resolve. Get that pie building. I should probably think about getting something that lets me make flour in the near future. Just so that we uh, have the ability to make the pie. 
Uh, now we do have to get Lizard Resolve up, so I should probably be favoring them. And are we still happy burning? We are. And that'll get us all the way there. At least for a little while. Actually, it gets us all the way there with everybody. For a little while. Despite the massive negative that we're taking. Like, I am not doing this at the optimal time at all. Uh, but it's still working. So I can't say I mind it too much. It occurs to me that I, I have a building that lets me make pie, right? So all this does is biscuits, but I think... Oh, I've already got a source of pie. Hmm. I think the ability to make biscuits is kind of big. Fuel. Might be a bit of a problem. But can we hold for another link? Five seconds? Haha, -ha. all right. Let's go ahead and, yep, well, it, it lowered it automatically. Our impatience is at 0.67, so that's pretty good, actually. That's all solid. I mean, this town's actually looking pretty good. Uh, if I put Harpy Houses, here and here, and run this around the side, uh, we can probably think about getting another comforting tower. You know what? No, let's not, let's not do just towers this time. Let's, uh, let's do some fencing. Right, like what if I just fenced off this area? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. And we open up another dangerous glade. Ooh, termites, all right, yeah. Do we have enough resin? We don't, but I think we will shortly if I don't do anything. I want one more lizard house. which I could fit here. I don't know how it'll look, so I don't really want to do that. I like the idea of putting it here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now this scavenger camp is empty. There is, there are eggs. There are eggs, so I guess it's eggs. Go ahead and get these eggs. Wow, there's more fertile fields. That's. Not something I usually encounter on the Scarlet Orchard. Just so many places for farms. Pretty solid. Okay, that'll cover all of our houses. So we just need a service building to complete this. Uh, we should get a couple more decorations. Yeah. I'm feeling some decorative funguses. Smokehouse and a temple. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of having to find a temple for me to be able to get it. So we'll go with Harpy Resolve. We need to have 12 Harpies. I mean, that's a lot of Harpies. But uh, 12 Harpies that we keep happy for a bit. It seems doable. We're going to say... What's the percentage on resin? 5%? If we don't do it within... Yeah, let's go ahead and let's not work it yet because the, the unhappiness kicks in as soon as we start working it. Uh, let's actually go up here and collect some harpies for free. And you know, I can probably delete these buildings. I don't actually need them. Which, now that I'm saying that, means I don't so much love this either. Let's figure out a better way to do that. Uh, we need 
two more. So we need six more total. little set of benches there we go that works for me um, okay so the queen has lots of impatience. I can lower the like I can lower the queen's impatience, but I don't really see a need to. So I'm gonna hang on to those that I can turn in for later. Um, I'm thinking about actually mining this copper. Yeah, we can drop a mine here. Uh, we can be completely getting these reeds. I mean, if I had people, I could be getting those reeds. Um, we should probably do something about the hostility of the forest. Maybe. There we go. Okay, and that means that resin's not going to be fast enough. Uh, so I think I have to break down and use my tools. I don't like using my tools, but I kind of have to. Might not have been a good time for it, considering, you know, uh, it is the storm and people are going to be unhappy. But, you know, what can you do? Quite a bit, as it turns out. Is anyone you're currently being favored? We can turn that off. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to lose some people. I'm just, I'm just going to lose some people. Let's see what we have available in here. Well, there's a way to get flour. That could be highly useful, so let's do it. I'm going to get a tool shop, which means the tinkerer is kind of useless. Kiln's not bad. The kiln would let us uh, turn our wood into coal. The butcher could be good. Do I already have a way of getting skewers or jerky? Just pie. Oh, but this gives us a, a more efficient way of making planks. And that gives us an even more efficient way of making planks. So we're doing that. Why do... What? How did that happen? Okay, now this is going to completely run us out of wood before the end of the storm but it should be enough to keep us from losing anybody. We need a lot more harpies. So this has more harpies, that's the one we're taking. Free pigment when we get copper, when we make copper bars. Okay, I don't mind that. 
Uh, 10 amber, one amber more per trade route. Let's go with one amber more per trade route. I know we haven't been using trade routes, but we, we can. We can start now. Sure. Sure. There we go. And that will let me... I should probably put someone in here to collect those planks. We've got massive unemployment. We should probably uh, see to that. Let's make this two humans, and they're just making planks. I'm gonna actually... We can send a couple of lizards up there. Why are my people so unhappy? I don't know. Explorer's board of all oh, right. Yeah, because we took that thing about opening glades. Great, which means I need to be opening glades. Okay, all right, well, I think I can open this glade pretty quick. better, isn't it? Uh, means I should probably get another set of woodcutters, yeah? So I can open glades faster. Alright, that should work. Uh, now, I think, yeah, we've got a stonecutter's camp down here. We're not doing any specific burnings. You're all solid. I would love to get, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and blow this and that. So we can potentially, no, I'm going to use a reroll for them. Now, the tavern we might get for free, but I'm going to go ahead and take the forum. One, because it's my favorite building ever. Two, because it lets us supply leisure. Uh, and three, because, I mean, it, it's my favorite building ever, so I'm just going to say it again. Uh, that is going to go up here, I think. Yeah, looks like a perfect place for that. And, of course, with all the ale, that'll let us make humans happier. Can we make fabric? We cannot, no. We can leave them in there to be happy. How are our trade routes looking? No. How much money do we have? Uh, we can, yeah, let's buy more trade routes. And we have barrels. They're 20 seconds away, and that'll solve our happiness issues. And also, I think it's going to solve our food problems completely. Uh, speaking of food, I should probably build this plantation. You don't reach. Okay, where can I build the food, the plantation that it will reach? That misses two. That misses one. I think you're supposed to build it here, but I can't reach that, so let's go ahead and just put it here for now, and then we'll pay the fee to move it later. There we go. Uh, 
let's go ahead and put some lizards on that. We've got a trader down here. We got a trader down here. What can we buy? Hmm. We can buy scrolls. The forum is uh, scrolls and ale. Uh, we need 25, so I think if I, if I do that, we'll have more than enough. So not too worried there. This is a lot of scrolls. What if I actually just sold all of my spark too? No. There we go. And what if I sold my tools? Hey, tools get us there. All right, yeah. Is this efficient? Probably not. Am I doing it anyway? Yes, I am. There we go. Okay. So that is going to solve two sets of service needs. I expect it's going to be enough to make our harpies pretty happy. We've got our... Where's our explorer's bonus? Okay, yeah, so we got like three minutes left on our explorer bonus. Which is pretty good. A fine, fine smith? Huh. Amber and infused tools. Not bad. Uh, I think I can switch to making this out of sea marrow. I think we can switch to making this out of sea marrow too. We'll make some more bricks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So um, I have a lot of housing, and then I've got people who are still unhoused, which means it's probably time to start thinking about a second hub. Now I could tessellate them here, but this plantation's in the way. And I'm pretty sure we have to move the plantation back into this corner. So I don't mind if this is directly here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And because I'm doing that, yeah. I think I should probably put some humans in this. See, harpies are immediately happy from all the services. Pretty great. Low on food. Okay. Check our trade routes. Huh, we could sell reeds. I don't think I want to. Definitely not selling food. Let's, let's put more trade routes. Everybody wants to buy food. That's not a good sign. Wizard resolve is low. Yeah, that's that's because our resolve bonus for exploring ran out, which tells me I need to open up another glade pretty quick. So let's go ahead and move this here, and let's move this here, and heck, let's move this here. We will put a lizard up here. And then I'm thinking housing. So first off, we've got tons of lizard unhoused, which is why they are so upset. Uh, so I'm thinking if I get, say, that, you know what? Let's just go full hog. We'll, we'll go full hog on the lizard housing. We're just gonna house all of our lizards as soon as possible. Like so. Uh, five, seven, seven times two, 14. That's still not enough lizard housing, but it's something. 
Oh, people are hella angry. Okay. Feed them pie 80 times, feed them biscuits 80 times. I think we can do that, but also open four glades. Get a couple of ancient tablets and solve a dangerous event for five pottery a minute. No, let's go with pastries. Everybody loves pastries, right? Um, now, ideally, what would happen is we can cut through to this glade, and as soon as we cut through the glade, I'd fire all of my lumber mill, lumber cutters. But it doesn't look like it's happening fast enough. If I just fire my lumber cutters, though, I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just going to lose people. That's all right. Now, I wish that there was a scroll wheel for the alerts, because I've got alerts down here I can't see. And unless I turn off some alerts, um, it just doesn't work well. So, like, I can take the scavengers camp, I can move it to the side, I can get rid of the workers in it. No problem there. Uh, but... Sure, let's go ahead and build that. Human builder left, lizard builder left, bunch of builders left. That's not really a problem. Gonna move this real close. Chat down that tree. Fire these three people. Lowers our hostility another round. That's great. And then I think two, maybe a wood. Should be enough to keep the, yep. That keeps the lizards from leaving. Fantastic. Now we repopulate this. And we have one of these. Okay, that's actually not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get some reputation points from it. Oh, uh, I love without restrictions. Villagers have a 10% chance for bonus yields from production but we can't decide what they eat. On the other hand, reinforced axes would let us cut through the forest a lot faster, and given how many glades we need to open, that might make sense. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the without restrictions here. More people. We need harpies. This gives us two harpies. Sadly for us, we did lose harpies, so not great. No, not willing to sell. Oh, uh, I can sell coal. I can definitely sell ale. Oh my word, we can sell so much ale. Does anybody else want ale? No. You want planks? We've got lots of those. Now, I think there was a scavenger's camp that no longer had anything to do, so let's go ahead and grab it. Move it up to these eggs. And we'll put a couple of lizards in there collecting those so we can try to solve our food issues. And now we have one human doing all of our city construction. Just a lone human running around. Okay, this is going to move over here because we want to clear out the additional farm fields around this plantation. Also, I really want to clear out space around my second hub so we can fully upgrade it. And because we have this benefit to clearing glades out. I want to try to work up that way as well. So we are going to take this guy and we're going to shove him right here. Just kind of completely walling off that hub. But uh, villagers can walk through walls. And since villagers can walk through walls, the layout doesn't matter all that much. 
We're low on food. Are we still happy birding? We are not. Let's do that. Now your threshold is 30. Hmm. This goes off. Everybody's uh, everyone's happiness will go up by eight. But at the same time, I think we got a minus five right now from the explorer thing. There goes doing. You guys almost done. Oh, it's just one person. No wonder they're working so slowly. Trader arrived. Hey, yeah, and people are starving, so food's an issue right now. But we can buy... Okay, first off, we can get half a point of reputation, so let's do that. We can get plus three to human resolve. Let's do that, too. Lizards like pickled goods. I think everybody likes biscuits, and lizards and harpies both love skewers and jerky and oil. Everybody loves coal, and then there's pie. Basically, if we could buy all of this food, I could make my people happy forever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and sell our copper. Uh, let's sell like uh, 120 ale, just so much ale. Just, just sell all of it. Uh, we've been making a lot of cosmetics. Let's go ahead and sell the cosmetics because I don't have any way to distribute them right now. Let's sell the price of the provisions because I don't care. Let's uh, give you amber. And I think like 89 sea marrow would be pretty great. Now that doesn't get us everything that we want. So what can we get rid of? Well, um, I don't think I need coal and I don't think I need oil. And I don't, I don't think I need um, pickled goods because only lizards like it. Uh, and then I think if I lower biscuits, Uh, now we have plenty of food, and that should deal with most of the unhappiness that we're facing, especially once this clears. Yeah. Because now people can eat. And we have biscuits and pie, which will get us most of the way on that quest. So that's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and move this closer in. Uh, we still have some unhoused people. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's make some, some housing right here. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times two is 16. Now, I, I do, that means I generally want to have like 24. Technically, you only need 20 for optimal, but I like slightly overfilling in case anyone dies or abandons us so that we can keep our bonuses. Uh, so that'll more than cover human housing. And then I think I do want to make a set of harpy housing in this area as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've got two happy groups, so they're they're moving us up pretty quickly. That's solid. How are we doing on builds? Oh, yeah, building supplies are great. Fabric can be made out of reeds. We've been collecting that for ages. Bricks can be made out of clay. Uh, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm not even paying attention to our spark do, so... Global production speed hasn't really been a problem. I could be making, I can make my own amber. Mm, 
remove would let us grow crystallized dew, which would let us make tools. But I don't feel like I need that. I'm going to go ahead and actually re-roll. Clan Hall, Bloodthirst, and Religion. We currently have uh, Education and Leisure, so let's go ahead and get the Clan Hall. Right, people are unhappy. So, uh, let's actually let these guys finish whatever they're doing. And we're going to pay to move this, because here lets them capture everything. Uh, and... It's pretty solid. I'm going to put a storage building somewhere up here. I think I can probably squeeze it in here. Here. Yeah, that works for me. So we will do that for road and that for road. We'll put one there. We'll put one here. That'll let us finish that road off. I like it. Okay. Uh, we are going to fire a couple of woodcutters for the time being. So if I shift these guys a little bit this way, we can lower the hostility of the forest a bit. We can lower this there as well. And then I think if I slide these guys up here, That'll help. And then we can drop food production like that. There we go. And I think that's going to get us most of the way through. Now we are currently burning wood, and I should probably stop that. Now we've gained plus one harpy resolve from our cosmetics. Just one. Again, 72 barrels. I haven't looked at my trade routes in a while. And uh, no, I'm not selling. Well, I got a lot of food now. I'm not selling it. I've been making so many planks. I should probably stop. Should have put some maxes in there, right? I didn't, uh, but I could. Let's see. No, I think we're fine. Get through year six, and then people are suddenly happy again. Let's repopulate our wood cutters. Uh, I don't think anyone else is going to leave or die, so we're going to skip this one. Getting oil for for twelve flour is nice, but I have to be making flour. I don't love the hidden reward or greenbacks. I'm gonna re-roll. Okay, so protected trade would lower the hostility of the forest a lot, but woodcutter, woodpecker technique gives us a lot of food. I'm gonna go with protected trade. We're doing quite a lot of selling. Uh, so speaking of selling. We still need those harpies. I think we need three harpies. Good. Now that uh, huh, that raises some issues with the forest, but I think we'll be all right if I slide up this way. And we need to start thinking about our happiness more. So what I can do What if I put a nice comforting tower right here and maybe another one tucked in there. And we can think about maybe putting a flower bed here and putting a cap on planks of 100. All right, so chat said, Dittosar says hello. Hello, Dittosar. 
Nice to uh, see you make it to one of my streams. I don't think you've chatted in my stream ever. <laughs> um, Dittosar is the, in case you don't know, is the person who... And I love it. I use it everywhere. It's my, uh, it's my Twitter profile picture. It's uh, on a lanyard that I... I uh, took to a conference that I went to. I mean, calling it a conference is, is kind of silly, given that it was basically a bunch of people on Twitter being like, yo, let's go to camp for a weekend. Um, yeah. I love that logo. So, shout out. Uh, also, I am working on a website for uh, a book that I'm writing, as well as, you know, any other things I come up with. I've designed a card game, too. And they drew me a uh, logo for that as well. <laughs> uh, no beavers. Bummer. Yeah, I mean, you can't have beavers all the time. I, I kind of, I, I, I use a lot of beavers. Okay, I would really like it if we broke through to that glade so we could solve our happiness issues, people. That'd be that'd be great. Could you could you cut through for me? A little bit? Maybe. Go lizards, indeed. Yes, uh, lizards are quite mad at me. Let's see, what can I do here? can sell parts. I don't like selling parts. But I do want to advance that. I've got a lot of planks. Oh, I don't have any space. Huh? Okay. There we go. That gives us the 15 bonus for five minutes for Joy of Discovery. So that's pretty great. We can go ahead and send two humans here. Let's go ahead and get more free reputation. I don't think I need any of these buildings. So this is also a plus three global resolve, so that's nice. So if we can figure out a way to get harpies up to 26, should be pretty straightforward to do. I got a bunch of spare people, so let's set them up here to salvage this. We'll salvage all of that. That should work very nicely. Okay, between the double happiness up here, giving us what? How fast is this growing? Oh, 0.28 per minute. That's not fast at all. Uh, oh, it's just harpies now. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, we got a trader. That's fantastic. And we haven't eaten enough biscuits. We don't have enough biscuits. Do you have any biscuits? You have biscuits. Excellent. My man, giving me some biscuits. I love it. Okay, uh, let's get pickle, uh, pickled goods because lizards like pickled goods and they've been feeling kind of moody lately. Um... I can make more biscuits if I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to because between eating this, that gets me a point. And turning in the Harpy Resolves, that gets me a point. Um, I think just keeping people happy, plus I doing that one mission up there for happiness. Uh, I could point max by trying to get money. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Okay, if I sell 83 planks, plus say 16 bricks, Plus, say, 30 of that. Uh, we want to keep this for our happy burn going on, which, again, this is my last week to do happy burns, so I want to do them as fast as possible. Let's go ahead and sell all my fiber. Okay, that's probably obsessive, uh, excessive, but let's do it anyway, because I'd like to lower the hostility of the forest. Ah, uh, yes, so uh, chat is pointing out the Dancing Cauldron. Yes. So this is one of the Dangerous Glade events, the Leaking Cauldron. Not to be compared with the Leaky Cauldron from Harry Potter, 
Uh, it slows down food production while you're working on it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, look at it go. You know what? I should probably... I think I'm about to win. So let me go ahead and get our screen cap for this. Go ahead and hit you. And then... Now, uh, since I've got a double screen set up, uh, I can't use the, just like capture the screen page. So I, I use a sniffing tool. It just takes me a little bit, minute longer than normal. Let me go ahead and save this. And close down. And let's go ahead and bring back my interface and rock our way out of here. Bam, bam. So as soon as they're done with this, giving me half a point, we should win. Or, how about this? Let's not even. Let's just not even. Everybody gets happy. Ooh, level 16, new Citadel upgrades. 104. All right, uh, so we won, of course. Uh, we got our 14 reputation, we had 14 impatience left. The queen did not mind us at all. Uh, we did eight of the nine orders that she gave us, giving us a nice 80 points. We did four regular events. Now these regular events are things like salvaging buildings, uh, collecting villagers. They're not dangerous. We did four dangerous events. Nobody died. We finished, uh, yeah, low impatience. Finished before year eight. Had 40 villagers and finished with 100 amber. That's right, uh, because even though we only had like 80, we had that bonus that gave us a bonus to Amber for every 10 that we sold, which is how we were able to grab Guildsmen. Let's go ahead and go back to the world map and spend our loot. Ah, oh, we still haven't unlocked whatever these are. So I guess we have one more without any modifiers in just a few minutes. First, let's get some upgrades. We scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. So we, uh, we're almost done with Against the Impossible Storm. Uh, my plan for this series is to unlock everything and play one more city, and then I've got a couple ideas for another series to try. Uh, we can afford one upgrade, because upgrades get expensive. So this lets us start with scrolls, incense, and resource nodes have a little bit more. Plus one chance for bonus production yields. Start with an herb garden. That's pretty good. I like the herb garden. Impatience grows slower, plus an extra 30 seconds if we're hitting the end. I don't love that. Ooh, I think we have to go with this. The speed increase and another embarkation point. Production speed, carry capacity. Traders come faster, we get the field kitchen. I never use the field kitchen. I'm gonna go with the embark points. Go over to Deeds. There's a bunch of Deeds left to do. Bunch of Deeds left to do. Plus, I mean, you could do all the prestiges. But that is going to do it for this town, for the town of Dorka. So uh, I very much appreciate my chat being here. Uh, those of you on YouTube, because I started the video over, don't know this. But when I started my stream, my mic wasn't on, and chat helpfully reminded me. So as always, chat are the people who help me make this, this stream great and improve, improve the quality of my recording. So a uh, huge shout out to everyone who shows up, hangs out with me live. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember you can catch me live on Friday nights at 9.30 Eastern until I finished two towns. Uh, and we are moving the other stream to Monday nights starting next week, uh, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Again, the plan is to play until I've got two towns. On uh, Monday instead of Sunday because I want my, my weekends. I just, I need my weekends for other stuff. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, remember you can catch up with the whole journey on YouTube, where again, I am Dread Canary. Uh, every city that I've played on against the, impo uh, in against the Impossible Storm, I have uploaded. Uh, there were some sound issues initially. By initially, I mean for like the first 15 cities. Uh, but you can watch the whole journey, because I started Impossible right out the gate. 
Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I am at Dread Canary. If you want to see me around the Reddit, I am Dread underscore Canary. A little bit of a different format there. Uh, but I do lurk on the Against the Storm forums. So if you have questions or comments or want to share, I will probably join in because I like joining in. <laughs> uh, joining in to other people's conversations uh, where everyone has a shared interest is just a great way of getting to know people, making friends, so highly recommend it. Uh, in the meantime, I thank you for all the time you spent with me, and I hope to see you in the next one.